don't ever consider it to be a health food, even though if you do it right, you may be able to get some fiber out of it and some health value out of it. But for the most part, you don't really need bread or pasta or or any kind of processed flour products. And if you're trying to lose weight, you should absolutely be staying away from bread and pasta and cereal and any kind of processed food. Nothing is more irritating to me in the world of health and nutrition than food manufacturers or manufacturers of cereal products and bread products trying to claim that their foods are healthy. Whether you like them or not, that's different. But the fact of the matter is there's very little healthy, uh, there's very little health value to Total or Cheerios or, or Kellogg's Special K or bread for that. That matter. If you like bread, take your slice of bread and chew it. Make sure it's got a lot of fiber in it, first of all, and chew it really, really slowly. And you'll find that the, the more slowly you chew your bread, the more slowly you chew your, chew your food in general, the less you're going to eat, but especially with bread. Okay, you can read about that at pharmacistben.com. And tomorrow we'll continue talking about connective tissue. We'll talk about ways that you can strengthen the skin connective tissue, which is really the way you want to address skin health issues, especially anti aging skin health issues. All right, time to hit our phones. 855-660-4261 is our number. John in Texas, what's going on? Good morning, and welcome to the Bright Side. Nice to hear your voice again, Ben. Thank you, John. Let's go. Fair enough. You know, I have a, what I don't know what the name would be, but it's either a mole or it is, uh, it, it starts out as a little round circle, skin okay. color, and then uh, sometimes it grew and sometimes it went back down. I went to the doctor. Uh, and they said, don't worry about it. My home uh, doctor said, uh, just go to the drugstore and get something to burn it off. And I was trying to knock it out with uh, aloe vera and other things, but uh, it seems like it's not going away. Uh, I started banging it because... Uh, banging it? What do you mean banging it? With a, with a hammer? What are you banging it with? By accident. I'm in the tree business, and, uh, you know, I would just knock it. So I started bandaging it. So, but that... You're trying to rip the thing off, huh? You're just trying to smash that thing down, right? Is it is it raised? Is it a raised mole? Yeah. Okay, I think I, 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 I kind of know what you're talking about. Let me ask you a couple questions real quickly, and I don't mean to. I, I'm just curious. I don't want to rip on you. I'm, I'm not trying to be mean or anything. What would? Why would you put aloe vera on there? I, I'm just. I want to know your thinking process, your thought process when you put the well, aloe vera on. Uh, aloe vera seems to uh, make uh, skin orthodox once it's burned. Make skin what? Orthodox. You know, change back to where where it was. What's that word you're saying? Orthodox. It makes skin orthodox. Yeah, meaning that it looks like it was originally. In other words, if you have a burn, okay. Okay. it looks... It heals the skin, has a healing power, is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. I should okay. say that. Yeah. Okay, got it. So you're, you're thinking that the aloe vera might help heal the moles. That would, and I, I'm not being mean, I don't mean to attack you. I'm just kind of curious to know what your thought process was. So you're thinking that the, the aloe vera kind of helped the mole heal. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it okay. may be silly. But, no, uh, I didn't know. mean. I didn't. I didn't want to go there. I was just curious to know what you know what you were thinking. I didn't mean to imply anything that you were silly or anything like that. Okay. So here's the deal. Moles are not part of the connective tissue. They're part of the surface of the skin, which is the epithelia. That it's called, just think of it like the coating on top of the skin. A mole is a growth. It means cells are not dividing correctly. This process of how cells grow is so complicated, and it involves so many different steps, and so many things have to go right, that it's really miraculous that it even happens at all. But it, oftentimes, uh, skin tags and what are called keratoses and you know, other terms like litigenes and moles, all of these things are signs that the skin is not, skin cells are not dividing correctly, period, end of story. Now, if you have some dark, uh, if, you, if the mole is dark, it may involve pigment cells as well. Uh, typically, moles do involve pigment cells. In any case, between pigment cells and skin cells, you've got cells that are not dividing correctly. Anytime cells are not dividing Dividing correctly, you're dealing with some kind of inflammation. It's not the inflammation of a black eye or a broken leg or a sprained ankle. It's microscopic inflammation. Remember, a cell is microscopic. That means it's invisible. It's so small you can't see it. Picture in your mind's eye the head of a pin. Divide that head of a pin up by a hundred times or so. One one hundredth the head of a pin is roughly the size of a typical cell. That's really small. And when you have inflammation around that area, everything gets thrown off. And one 
one of the things that gets thrown off is how cells divide and grow. If it involves pigment cells, you're going to end up with a mole. So a mole is a sign that cells are not dividing correctly. This involves, number one, inflammation at the level of the skin, at the level of the, the surface of the skin. It may involve some inflammation at the level of the connective tissue, too. And then also it involves changes at the juncture, the interface, the connecting point between the cells and the matrix or the raisins and the bread. The skin cells and the bread, the, the raisins and the bread, the skin cells and the matrix, that little juncture, which is the cell membrane, is somehow disturbed. So there's a disturbance basically where the raisins are sitting in the bread. Does that make sense? Did I explain that okay? Because I'm going to tell you what to do, but I want you to understand the mechanism. There's a disturbance where the ra- at that juncture where the raisins are interfacing with the bread. Can, does that Absolutely. Okay, good. Now, okay, good. a lot Perfect. of... Uh, things for digestion. So. Well, okay, then, I, then you knew you're, you're, you know, you're, you're reading my mind because that's always the first thing to do is the digestive system. Usually, when you have a disturbance at that raisin bread, where the raisins are sitting in the bread, at the raisin and bread juncture, you're looking at a fat problem. That means fatty vitamins, essential fatty acids as well, and perhaps fatty nutrients from vegetables. Now, when you have a fat problem, you either have a fat problem in terms of intake of fats, that means you're not getting enough through your diet, or absorption of fats. So you're, you're on the right track, my friend. Uh, you want to focus on fat digestion. This is true for any skin health problem, be it moles, be it keratosis, be it acne, be it milia, whatever your surface skin problem is, the first thing you want to do is focus on fats, intake, and absorption. So using the digestive enzymes from longevity, ultimate enzymes, pancreatin can help, uh, lecithin after meals, very, very important. You might also want to throw in bile salt. If you notice that you're having digestive problems with specific foods, those are important clues for you, and uh, you want to focus on what those foods are, and you can eliminate those foods, or you can start to work on helping your body process those foods. So, number one, focus on fat absorption and digestion. Hang tight, and I'll tell you a couple other things that you can do for that. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Hello, it's Tom Chenault from The Tom Chenault Show. We are experts in home-based business and residual income. We show people how to make money from their home, either part-time or full-time. And in partnership with Genesis Communication Network, we've organized a team to fight back about people not having money, time, or health and we need your help. What we want you to do is if you've got an interest in building an organization to fight back against people taking our money, taking our time, and taking our health, we want to talk to you. All you need to do is call this number, 855-308-8326. Again, all you want to do is call 855 308 8326. You can make a tremendous amount of money and end up fighting for a great cause. Please call us right now. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. 
Visit the Berkey Guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey Guy. Now you can get the same survival food U.S. Special Forces use on their toughest field missions. High-protein, high-energy, freeze-dried foods known as long-range patrol rations or LERPs. Soldiers love LERP rations. They're lightweight and easy to carry. Easy to prepare by just adding water. Easy to enjoy because they taste great. Civilians love LERPs as a solution for emergency preparedness and recreational activities with limited storage space, such as hiking, climbing, sailing, or RV travel. Veteran-owned Freeze-Dry Guy is your exclusive source for this 2013 U.S. military overrun. Long on nutrition, these delicious entrees have a long shelf life lasting decades. But this rare opportunity, this limited supply, will not last long. You have to act now. Call 866-404-3663, 866-404-FOOD. Or log on now to freezedryguy.com, freezedryguy.com. A little right, a little left, but always independent-minded. The Genesis Communications Network, GCN. All right, we are back on the bright side. John in Texas, I'm going to go quickly, and I apologize for that, but I want to get, I hate leaving folks on hold, and we got full board here. So, John, are you there? Yeah, sure. Okay, so number one, focus on fats and fat absorption. And for the listeners, any kind of topical skin issue, that's the first thing you want to do is fats and fat absorption. Uh, absorption, as we said before the break, lecithin, bile salts, longevity's ultimate enzymes, uh, pancreatin can help, apple cider vinegar after meals. Those all help you with fat absorption, and then using smaller amounts of fatty foods will help too. Then make sure you're getting your fatty nutrients, and it's probably a good idea to take your fatty nutrients with fatty foods and all of the aforementioned absorption aids. Um, I would be using vitamin A, 20,000 international units. In fact, I would take 30,000 international units a day, John. Uh, vitamin A has a really important relationship to this, the way skin cells grow. Uh, and you may be experiencing some vitamin A deficiencies, especially if you're not supplementing. You may want to use topical vitamin A also in the retinoic acid form. Retin-A is the brand name of that. Uh, and then also um, vitamin, uh, vitamin D, and best place to get vitamin D is from the sun. Uh, and believe it or not, a little bit of sun would probably help you, although you don't want to burn. And then if you want to take, it, if you want to take, uh, if you want to take your vitamin D in supplemental fashion, use about five to 10,000 uh, uh, international units of vitamin D3 a day. Somebody just told me Mary Lou Henner's got a vitamin D3 product. Uh, you, may want to, you might want to check that out. In any case, a little vitamin D is going to help you. Uh, 400 international units of vitamin E can be very helpful. And then uh, also make sure you're using topical vitamin C, especially in its fatty format. That would be very healing, way better than it. Aloe vera is great stuff. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love aloe vera. But topical vitamin C is much more effective for helping, uh, helping protect the skin, much more effective than aloe vera. Uh, it also protects your skin from the sun, and it will also help heal, accelerate the healing process. If you wanted to burn the thing off, see if you can get a, a uh, and, and I can't tell you that would help you because I can't see the mole, but if you did want to burn it off, you can uh, have a pharmacist make 70%, 70, 70% glycolic acid for you. Uh, and then you can apply that and then put your topical vitamin C on right on top of the, uh, after you use the glycolic acid, and that will help speed up the healing process. So lots of ways that you can go. I would be focusing, number one, on uh, the digestive system, and you're very bright to be doing that. I forgot about, about the Biolumin Nightly Essence. That can also help with fat absorption. And then, of course, the Mighty 90 is always a great idea, you're sipping on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. But fats, 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 that's what you want to focus on when it comes to all skin health issues, moles included. And thanks for your call. Appreciate it very much, John. Anything else going on? Uh, I've got to move on. If that's it. Uh, I um, yeah, I have uh, a um, uh, closed brain injury. Uh, you know what? There's a lot of stuff that's, that has to do with that, but basically you want to focus on inflammatory issues. Closed brain injuries involve inflammation inside the cranium, the skull, and so you want to uh, make sure that you're keeping your intake of uh, inflammatory foods down. That's the most important strategy. And then anti-inflammatory nutrition is also important. Essential fatty acids, omega-3s are very, uh, are very anti-inflammatory. Longevity's ultimate EFA can be helpful for you there. The vitamin C is 
and vitamin E. Vitamin C, vitamin E are the two most anti-inflammatory vitamins, and essential fatty acids as well are very anti-inflammatory. And don't forget OPC selenium. Uh, selenium has got some nice anti-inflammatory and pro-immune system properties too. Thanks so much for your call, John, and I apologize for letting you go, but I want to get you as many calls as possible here. John in Michigan, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Well, thank you, Ben. Uh, first, uh, lysine and cold sores. It seems to help uh, them heal quickly. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you can give me the background on that. Yeah. And then also um, so-called.